Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel short VBA code series that is running into my channel. So friends in this video today we are going to learn about the VBA code with which we can copy and save the whole workbook into a new workbook with the file name of current date and time that means we will include the timestamp into the file name of new workbook and it will be automatically saved into the main workbooks current directory so friends at first this is the whole new worksheet I am working into go to the developer tab and click on visual basic or you can directly press the alt and F11 key from your keyboard to get into the visual basic editor so here you have to go to the insert and click on module that means we are going to create a new module here we need to create a code so at first we are using the sub procedure and name it as save it then open the bracket and close bracket then hit enter look at here the name of the sub procedure has been changed into save it so here at first we need two variables and we declare our variables using dim then we are going to use dt as our first variable and it will be created as string so select the option from the drop down menu hit the tab button to auto fill it then hit the enter button to come to the next line then create another variable that is dim wb n that means workbook name here select as string from the drop down menu and hit enter button to come to the next line so here we need to use the wb n at first give an equation symbol now open the double quote and type as date modified then put an underscore or you can give nothing here close the inverted comma then again hit enter and come to the next line here use the first variable that is dt equation now here you have to select your format f o r m a t format will be c s t r that means this one is our expression value open the bracket type now here close the bracket put a comma open the double quote now here you need to select your format and I want the format as full of the year underscore month that is mm again underscore dd that will be show our date underscore hh that will show our hour and at the last use mm to select the minutes also then close the inverted comma close the bracket and hit enter now type as active workbook dot select save as from the drop down menu hit the tab button to autofill it space file name colon equation type the first variable we have entered that is wbn space ampersand symbol again space dt and hit enter now your code has been completed save it by pressing ctrl and s and make sure to save the workbook as excel macro enabled workbook so that your vba macro will be saved into that workbook right select your destination and save it so now let's come to the excel workbook again so here we are going to assign a button into that macro so go to the developer tab click on the insert and from controls select that one that is button create your button now assign your macro that was save it click on ok you can rename your button also that will be we can use save as click on outside of that button at first I am gonna show you that in the current directory of my workbook 
has no workbook and when we click on the save as button look at here something happened and what happened look at here that is another workbook has been created as date modified the year month date and time and if you type anything like I am typing my channel's name that is technical portal and again click on save as so there you must find the document as this one if you click on that enable macros look at here it has been opened and that was the latest file we have created so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video if you like this video please share this video with your friends share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned